नमस्कार होमी भाभा सेंटर फॉर साइंस एजुकेशन टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फंडामेंटल रिसर्च भारत सरकार के नेतृत्व में भारतीय छात्रों ने एक बार फिर से अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मंच पर झंडे गाड़ दिए जी हाँ फिफ्टी फोर्थ इंटरनेशनल फिजिक्स ओलंपियाड 2024 जो कि ईरान में किया गया जहां पर भारतीय छात्रों ने अपने जोरदार प्रदर्शन से भारत को चौथा स्थान हासिल कर कर दिया और आइए ऐसे में आपको ले चलते हैं आयोजित कार्यक्रम पर और मिलाते हैं उन सिल्वर और गोल्ड विनर्स से सो हेलो माय नेम इज आकर्ष राज सहाय आई हेल फ्रॉम पटना बिहार बट आई एम करेंटली लिविंग इन नागपुर आई डिड माय स्कूलिंग फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ स्कॉलर्स नागपुर एंड माय क्वेश्चन टू यू हाउ रिग्रेस द प्रोसेस वॉज एंड ऑफकोर्स यू हैव कम आउट वेरी वेल सो वट वुड यू लाइक टू से ऑन दैट Uh, the process that we undergo here for the training of the olympiads is really rigorous and really uh, difficult and it really challenges you to the edge so like uh, the uh, both the experimental problems as well as the theory problems are really uh, innovative and they like push you to like think of new things and uh, uh, to solve them so like i really enjoyed the process because it made me learn quite a lot of new things which i did not know before and i uh, really enjoyed the process and uh, yes and like uh, winning this medal is also a great achievement so i'm quite happy about that you have given me a word innovation and i've come across a phrase innovate from india innovate for india and how do you see these words with the near in the near future as you are the future of the country mm, i think the phrase which you said is more I think uh, innovation is necessary for all kind of development because like if we don't innovate we're just copying things from others and like adapting them to our use case unless we innovate we won't build something new for the world so yes innovation is uh, like uh, really important and people who have undergone this kind of training and have done such problems which push you to the edge and force you to think like uh, now uh, what should i do now like i don't have any way to do this how how should i do it so like that kind of training and that kind of process i think enables you to think more and like innovate <laughs> and especially innovate from india and innovate for india which is for the country's progress also mm -hmm. uh, i think like i am more inclined towards the research kind of thing so obviously more the more uh, research happens in india uh, the more people like in all uh, 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 different fields not just physics but biology chemistry material science and like even applied things like uh, more we build here the more we will like show to the world that we can also do it and uh, then a uh, will progress obviously now coming to the international physics olympiad which uh, which was held in iran uh, how was the experience and how was the support uh, from the um, homi bhaba as well it was a really unique experience meeting all like so many different pe uh, people who are your age from uh, different countries and uh, learning about their perspective towards life and learning about their plans and playing with them it i think it makes you realize that we are not so different and i really enjoyed being with them and uh, talking to them the support from the government of india and homi bhaba center was like phenomenal because they helped us in almost each and every stage of our application we didn't as uh, sir mentioned earlier we did not have to pay anything for this uh, entire olympiad experience and the training given here the kind of experimental setups they have and the kind of hard work they do in order to set them up for us that is like really commendable and i appreciate that you use the word phenomenal uh, when it comes to a person's mind that means uh, some really good things have yeah, happened yeah, yeah. during this journey so uh, how do you see this changing india when you talk word phenomenal so what would you like to say this like as i mentioned earlier uh, the this kind of difficult and rigorous training forces you to like think beyond the box uh, out of the box new things which you may not have experienced earlier so obviously uh, this would uh, help all, all the students here and obviously uh, make the future bright yeah and uh, my last question to you of course will come to the problem solving now and there was a global warming due to uh, the greenhouse mm. effect so how how was the problem um, solved and how easy wo wo was it or how difficult was it in comparison to other teams i think that was a good problem which uh, there are certain misconceptions that even we had before solving the uh, that problem and uh, that 
uh, the problem uh, usually guides you how to get towards that answer. So in that process, while solving the problems, we were able to uh, find out, oh, I did not uh, know about this before, so uh, this is how it's done. And like uh, that was interesting. Uh, we learned that how the properties of the Earth and Earth's atmosphere uh, affect the temperature uh, of the Earth's surface and its atmosphere and uh, uh, how uh, small changes in uh, these uh, parameters might have a, a catastrophic effect on the Earth's temperature. First of all, many congratulations to you for winning this gold and of course making India proud in this International Physics Olympiad. Tell us about yourself. My name is Ritam Kedia. I am from Raipur, Chhattisgarh. I have done my schooling from Kota but like I am based, like my permanent address is Raipur and I'll be going to college this year, IIT Bombay. How the uh, rigorous process has been and how you enjoyed this journey, um, making you all the way to Iran and winning gold? So the journey was like very uh, uh, interesting. So we, we had various stages for the selection in the Indian team and then uh, we had a uh, pre-departure training camp in which we were thoroughly trained for the experimental and the theoretical part of this International Physics Olympiad uh, which was held in the Homi Baba Center for Science Education. I would like to thank them for training me and also my parents for allowing me to participate in this uh, International Physics Olympiad. So I would like to ask you from here as you have won the gold from where do you see yourself in the near future and what kind of a support as you have seen the journey closely what kind of more support you are looking from the government side. So. Like I am, first of all, I am very proud that I won a gold for my country, and uh, so in the near future, I would uh, like to study, uh, like complete my degree, and then I would like to contribute to the society for the overall well-being. And from the government, like one uh, request is that uh, these kind of things should get more recognition and should be advertised more, so that uh, everyone gets to know about these. Olympiads and like just like Olympics. Hi Javid and first of all my congratulations to you for winning silver at the International Physics Olympiad uh, held in Iran. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so hi everyone, myself Javid Singh. I am basically born from Hanumangarh but I have been living the past few years in Kota for my education at Lal Bahadur Shastri Senior Secondary School. I have represented India at the International Physics Olympiad 2024 held in Iran and I have got a silver medal for the country. As you have seen the journey closely, so you might have seen some ifs and buts also. What contribution looking more from the government or educational institutions so that in near future whatsoever you do or the other children do can accelerate their pace in and you know achieving more goals and more silver for us? Yeah, so there's one thing that there is not much recognition for the Olympiads. Like uh, for us, we have to give the joint entrance examination in order to get the best universities in India. There is no recognition for Olympiads and that's why we cannot devote most of our time in the preparation for Olympiads. Like in my senior year, I had to give about 70% of my time for J preparation. And that really hurts us because we can do much more better in these Olympiads, but we are hindered by this process. So I want the government and the institutions to recognize us for these achievements. And if we can get universities based on this, I'm sure more and more students will uh, be enthusiastic about these preparations and the result of India would improve dramatically. And I like to now come towards the experience in Iran, of course, with the new India and the growing India and you are the future of India. What kind of welcome was there for India and especially after securing the fourth position? Uh, so Iran was a really nice country. We were welcomed with like uh, great uh, and uh, uh, like we were welcomed very, very happily and they were always ready to ask us about things that happen in India. We had really great exchanges from students of other countries, how the process works there, what are they going to do in future and share our thoughts on that and what are we going to do in life later. Also the Iranians, like they liked our movies a lot so they know us very well and after receiving uh, these medals we felt proud because people were talking about how great we did. So many congratulations to you and uh, 
I have seen in this um, span of time, the Indian teams are sh showing really well in various Olympi Olympiads, like um, in mathematics previously as well. What would you ha like to say on that? This journey has been very promising from uh, from the Indian students. Yeah. So uh, as far as Indian students are concerned, they have been always promising, uh, and uh, we have been really doing well. Uh, if you talk about, say, maybe in the language of cricket, then we have 100% strike rate that all the students who go for the international uh, Olympiads, they come back with the medal, right? So, uh, in case of Olympiads, uh, our students are, you know, too good, right? Absolutely no doubt about that. And uh, it's just variation of maybe gold, silver, gold, silver. But otherwise, we are pretty good in that. Like we can say um, in Paris Olympic in sports, India is doing really well. Same way in academically, if we talk about mathematics and now physics, India is really doing well. Any words on that? This uh, running parallelly, both okay. teams in sports and teams here are doing well. Maybe I would like to take this freedom to say that uh, yes, in Olympiads, that is this physics, chemistry, biology, we are doing much better. Uh, our track record is quite good. And then the all credit goes to all these students. Uh, who are trained to such an extent to tackle the difficult and complex problems uh, that are given to them at this, uh, you know, at this world level. And uh, so it, it's basically the training, it's basically the training. So that just talks about the kind of education system uh, uh, that they go through, uh, the kind of rigor that they go through, uh, and hats off to them. With the new education system and the new education policy 2020, which has already be, already been implemented, mm -hmm. you know, um, improving skills uh, of the students and other stuff. So, how do you see the future with all these things? And of course, the students are also performing well nowadays. Yeah. So, if you uh, think from this point of view, then uh, something that uh, which gives some kind of a positive picture to us is that the uh, training in the practical uh, examinations or experimental examinations. So, if things are taken still more seriously. Seriously, uh, then I'm very sure that uh, we are going to come up with still some good, you know, uh, results. This result is also quite good, but then we can always, uh, you know, think of more improvement because experimental training uh, is not much given importance in our system, uh, partly due to various exams that they go through. It actually uh, thinks about, it actually asks for uh, more of a theoretical uh, uh, training, uh, which they are very good at. But if, as per the new policy, if we get this kind of a training in their college itself or in their school itself, great, that will help us a lot. I would like to ask you about the rigorous process where the students go through, you know, qualifying and then reaching Iran and, you know, again winning that medal. So, do, what would you like yeah. to say on that? Okay, so uh, the process starts with a first level exam which happens in the month of November, uh, which uh, Indian Association of Physics Teachers, in case of physics, they are in charge of that. And uh, this exam happens all, I mean, all over India uh, for around 900 centers, uh, wherein uh, there are 300 to 350 students are selected uh, for the next stage, which is conducted by Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education in the month of, say, February first week. Uh, and uh, in that, uh, it's basically an uh, emphasis given on the theoretical uh, aspect of this uh, competition. From this 300 to 350, we select final 35 students who come in the month of April, April end. Uh, to uh, participate in the orientation come selection camp, which is a 14 days camp held in the uh, Homi Baba Center for Science Education, wherein they are trained in the experimental component and certain advanced topics in theory, which is like modern physics or relativity and thermodynamics. Uh, and uh, that camp consists of say two theory tests and two experimental tests. And from this, the I mean the analysis of this test actually gives rise to uh, five final uh, uh, team participants. Before they go for the International Olympiad, uh, these five students again come to Homi Baba Center uh, for a 10 to 11 days camp, which is called as pre-departure training camp, wherein they are given an exposure of uh, Olympiad-like experiments, like sitting uh, at one place uh, for five hours and tackling a theory problem or say a set of some kind of experimental problems. Uh, so they are, they are actually trained in that uh, aspect and then they leave for the Olympia. So it's kind of a quite long and rigorous process that they actually go through. So I would like to ask you now with the new India, growing India and uh, the dreams of growing India are very different nowadays. So I would like to ask you that what kind of welcome was there for Indian students and especially after winning the fourth position? Oh, okay, so they, I mean, Iranians always had a, a good respect for Indians. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, Welcome was same like, you know, to all other countries, obviously no issues about that. They always liked our movies and, you know, songs and everything. 
but more than that in case of academics they always uh, you know consider india to be in the leading stage because when we were you know uh, talking to these iranian uh, say host country academicians they always were saying ki oh your students have done quite well your students have quite done well right you know getting some kind of an appreciation both from those people is something instead of we saying that oh our students are good they were saying that okay your students have really done well you know i mean the kind of approach that they had the kind of uh, data that they have taken it's phenomenal